From the front page of the Yonkers Statesman, September 29, 1916. Not to run cars in Yonkers yet. Despite constantly recurring rumors that the management of the Yonkers Railroad Company intends to begin the operation of cars, it is reported in well-informed quarters that there is little likelihood of any attempt being made to operate the cars yet a while. Among the rumors that are heard is that a car load of strike breakers is to be brought into the city to run the cars. The fact that wire nading has been fastened over the windows of several of the cars to protect the glass also has led to reports that the cars were to be operated. According to information received, the company has expected to operate a few of its cars with some of the employees who had expressed a willingness to return to work, but these men at the last moment lost their nerve, it is said. The strike has now been going on for nearly three weeks, a longer period than any similar trouble in the city, and there are no indications of its speedy termination. In the meantime, auto owners who operate cars from Getty Square to different parts of the city and to the subway terminus of Van Cortlandt Park are reaping a harvest while people generally have to walk from their homes to business. Headline, A Car on Tarrytown Railroad Had Jumped the Track About 59 persons, among whom were a number of county officials and employees from Yonkers, were thrown into a mild state of consternation at Tarrytown this morning when the cars of the Tarrytown and White Plains Railroad Company failed to run with their usual promptitude to White Plains. While the car leaving Tarrytown at 8.13 for the county seat failed to put it in appearance, the first thought of those waiting for it was that another strike had been added to those already so prevalent in the vicinity of New York City. This thought became almost a conviction when it was found that nobody knew what the trouble was, nor could a Tarrytownite be found who could definitely say that a strike was not in progress. It was not until nearly 9 o'clock that the minds of the waiting contingent were relieved by the sight of a trolley car coming down the hill to the Tarrytown station of the New York Central. Thank heaven, it isn't a strike anyway, was the exclamation of the crowd as they clambered aboard the welcome car. The trouble was caused by a car which jumped the track at McLean Switch just outside of White Plains on its trip to Tarrytown. The car was slewed halfway across the road and it was necessary to transfer passengers around the obstruction. Several hours elapsed before the track was cleared and normal service resumed. Headline, Allies Gain More Ground on Somme, Serbians Repulse the Bulgarians. New drives by the British this morning and the French last night resulted in additional ground for the Entente Allies along the Somme. The ground the British gained lies something more than a quarter of a mile southwest of Lizar on the poisier bapom Road. The captured territory comprised a strongly defended farm. Three German airplanes brought down in two minutes and thirty seconds by the stopwatch is the latest exploit of 2nd Lieutenant Guyan Mer. Incidentally, the lieutenant fell 10,000 feet but escaped unhurt. He went to the assistance of a comrade who was hard-pressed by five German machines and brought down three of them. While looking for the other two, shells stripped the left wing of his machine. And that's the news from Yonkers 100 years ago today.